Let's try to fix this with the iron hell table saw. It's uh, probably my fault, but you see the riving knife and the whole blade is pushed to that side. So if I, s if I zoom in here, you can see that it's it's actually tilted or bent on on that side. So I'll try to fix that now. It's not totally clear how you how you can adjust this. You have a little play here. I placed the saw upside down. One curious thing is that this uh, outlet, this dust outlet, is actually resting to the frame here. The other side may be movable further than this side is. Then you get get this angle. But we also have adjustable screws here, so the, the motor mount, the attachment to the table, it's uh, mounted on a bracket here with slots. So if I loosen this one, I can actually move this side right, left or right. Here we can see that the, the back side here hits the frame before the front side, causing this to bend. If I Move this out, so it's free over there on the other side. And I move this back. You see that it, it hits the back side first. And then when I turn it more, it bends like that. It seems the attachment of the motor unit is adjustable also on, on uh, this side. It turns out that I was uh, wrong. The adjustment on this side is just the end stops of this beveling mechanism. So what I can do is I can adjust this one so that when I move it to the 90 degree position uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't go further than, than uh, keeping the blade parallel to the table. This mount on the riving side of the engine unit. You loosen the table screw with a hex wrench, I think this is called. And now you can move the engine unit on this side back and forth. forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it so that it's um, as free as possible, so it doesn't touch anything in the upright position. And then I'm going to adjust the, the blade so it's uh, so it's uh, square to the table. Now I think I made all the adjustments. I adjusted the blade to be perpendicular or square to the table. And then I loosened these two and adjusted the back angle here so that the blade is parallel to this miter slot. And as you can see, now the dust outlet down there doesn't, doesn't hit the frame. Let's conclude. 
What I did to adjust the, the blade on this Einheld 2025 table saw was that I started off by loosening this uh, end stop here and adjust it so, so that it's at its zero position when the blade is uh, perpendicular or square to the table. And then I loosened these two back end screws to be able to adjust the blade so that it's parallel to the miter slots. And after having done that, I think the saw now is uh, in a much better shape. Yeah, I'm happy with that and I'm glad I, I took the time to do this. So now this uh, cheap uh, but uh, capable table saw can do much better work for me in the future. Yeah, I hope you found, found this uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee. And enjoy.